Eagles can celebrate for now, but Patriots look plenty imposing in Super Bowl. The Philadelphia Eagles lost by winning. Sure, they're in the Super Bowl for only the third time in franchise history. But the February 4th game is in Minneapolis. Minnesota people are notoriously friendly. That Minnesota nice slogan isn't just bored of tourism stick. But even their hospitality only goes so far, and the Eagles will be public enemy number one with the locals after they so rudely ended the Vikings' miracle season and their hopes of being the first team to play in the Super Bowl they're hosting. Oh, and the Eagles' opponent in the Super Bowl? None other than the New England Patriots, the modern-day NFL's most enduring dynasty. More, Eagles fly past Vikings, set up Super Bowl list showdown versus Patriots more. Jaguars put on clinic on how to blow lead to Patriots more, Tom Brady, Patriots fooled us again on way to another Super Bowl the team that beat Philadelphia the last time they were in the Super Bowl, I might add. That was ring number three in the Brady era, for those keeping track. He's added two more since then, including one last year after rallying the Patriots from the dead against Atlanta. It's not always great, Brady said. After pulling off another fourth quarter comeback, this one with stitches in his throwing hand after having it sliced open on a handoff during practice Wednesday. Sometimes it's pretty average and then you're just trying to get better and better and get to the point where you can make the fourth quarter of a game and try to play well enough to get yourself into the next one. It's pretty amazing, and I'm proud of this team, he added. It's just been a great year. It'll be really great if we take care of business in a couple of weeks. So, yeah. Have fun with all that, Philadelphia. The Eagles bring the NFL's stingiest and most opportunistic defense into the game, topping just about every statistical category. They were particularly merciless against Case Keenum in the NFC Championship game. With the Vikings up 7-0 midway through the first quarter, Chris Long hit Keenum's arm as he was throwing. The ball wobbled right into the hands of Patrick Robinson, who returned it 50 yards for what is reflected as the tying score but really was the game-breaker. The Eagles would score 31 unanswered points while Keenum would be 24 of 42 after the pick. But Keenum is not in the same class as Brady. Not even remotely close. Jacksonville went into Sunday's AFC title game with the second-best defense in points allowed, total offense, sacks and takeaways and a fat lot of good it did them. Brady threw two touchdowns in the fourth quarter to rally the Patriots, and Deion Lewis sealed the win by gashing the Jaguars for 18 yards on third down with 90 seconds left. Granted, the Jaguars lost linebacker Miles Jack late. But the Patriots were short-handed, too, with Rob Gronkowski getting knocked out with by a head injury before halftime. Brady has built a Hall of Fame resume by making plays when the Patriots need them most, and this game was no different. And that was with a bad thumb. That won't be the case in the Super Bowl. As soon as I get the stitches out, then I think it will be good to go, Brady said. When might that be? Hopefully this week, midweek, he said. Then I can just get out there and get normal treatment like I always do and be ready to go. A healthy Brady and hostile hosts. What a prize the Eagles have won. Follow USA Today Sports columnist Nancy Armour on Twitter at Armour. Photos, Best of Conference Championship Games.